Hello, welcome to Fresh Death Comics. I'm B. Luke. And I'm Amy. And this is The, the Rundown. Rundown. DC edition. We're bringing you all the new DC books this week, February 15th. And we partner with Fat Cat Comics in Johnson City, New York to bring you this show. And it's a fun show. I'm excited. The Eagles have just won the Super Bowl. Woo. So I am pumped. I'm excited. Hurts did it. Mahomes he just crashed and burned. It was exciting. But, of course, this means it's the end of the NFL season. And it's also the end of the White Knight universe for now with Batman Beyond the White Knight, issue eight. It ends this week. So this is oh, an amazing issue and perfect for what's been going on. Swamp Thing Green Hell, issue number two. In the aftermath where the Parliament of Trees took on a new Swamp Thing surrogate, the only one to turn to is obviously John Constantine, but Constantine can't do it alone. In a true dick move, he summons Alec Holland, better known as Swamp Thing himself, out of his comfortable home and loving family to come and help defend a small coastal town from the Parliament. I have just one totally not related question for you, B. Luke. Sure. What What's the plural of swamp thing? Swamp things? Swamp thon things? Swamp Never mind. Things. Forget I asked you that. Art by Doug Mankey. And let me tell you, some of these pages you just have to see in a physical form. Digital does not do these justice. With all de the delays this book has had and looking at it finally physically here, this is a definite pickup before the next issue comes out in March. You know, supposedly. It's another week and another look at the effects of the rain in Lazarus Planet Dark Fate. Anima Pia makes his return. He comes face to face with the Huntress and meet the debut of Circuit Breaker. And it's an issue zero pollution with several stories of what their series are going to be like. Those craving more Brendan Fraser in their life will love this Doom Patrol story. And find out what Constantine and Batgirl are doing in Spirit World number one. Reginald Hudlin, the creator of Shuri, brings us Icon vs. Hardware Season 2, Number 1. After the Big Bang event, Rocket is put into private school. Come on, Raquel. You know on Wednesdays we wear pink. <laughs> Icon discovers time travel, and apparently he's never seen the butterfly effect. The multi-layer story continues in Danger Street number three. Lady Cop gets closer to tracking down the good look killer, and Darkseid will learn what's beyond the source wall. It all seems all connected, but how? What is this all building up to? Batgirl 15, can Batgirl make it in time to save Stephanie from her father, the Clue Master, as they play America's favorite game, Dead Wrong? Get the answer wrong, and you'll be shocked to find out what happens next. The conclusion of Motherless Child takes place in I Am Batman. Will Chase be able to save his real mother? This is the turning point issue, and has everything you want in a comic and more. Action, drama, suspense. Wildcats number four. While seven soldiers are taking all the credit, the Wildcats are taking a beating. Will Grifter's hunt for the Court of Owls cost him everything? And if he falls, who will fall with him? Not everyone is walking away from this one. Scooby-Doo Mysteries issue five. This issue is all about Batwoman. For those unfamiliar with all of the different Batwomans and Batgirls throughout Batman's history will get a fun story about the Canes as they deal with were-rats. Can Scooby and their gang help solve this mystery of scary rat packs? Like, wow, Fred, I don't think those are Halloween masks. Batman Adventure continues season three, issue two. Cassie Kendall has come to town and she's been kidnapped. Now her ex, Harley Quinn, must try to find her. Now her ex, Batman, must try to find her. Now her ex, no, how long is this list? Last but certainly not least, Batman Spawn Unplugged. It's a noir type story. We've done it in black and white. So it's just Greg Capullo's artwork here. And it, it, it's very neat to just see this in its kind of true form. And that's it for us here at Fresh Death Comics today. I'm excited. I'm going to party more because I'm excited that the Eagles have won. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Fly, Eagles, fly. Caca, caca. All right. That wraps it up, so bye, everybody, bye. So should we, like, put a uh, portions of this podcast have been pre-recorded? I, I know we're recording this on Saturday because I'm going to be having too much fun on Sunday to record this, but I have faith in the Eagles. They're not going to embarrass me. If I lose, I I'm not going to lose. What happens if you do lose? You can pie me in the face.